Ladies and gentlemen, we are just underway. It is the Atlanta show against the Birmingham Vulcans. To our delay, the Birmingham team got here a little late because of a flat tire, but uh, we are underway here from Life University as we get a basket from Glenn Miles, and Birmingham takes a 2 nothing lead. A th uh, actually, it's a 3-2 to two lead. Here's the show with the basketball right now. That's Josh Montgomery with the shot. No good. Rebound taken away by the Vulcans. Vulcans are 7-4 and four coming into this game. Having defeated the Panama City Piranhas, 130-102. to 102. And we have a three-pointer by number 12, Jeremy Bogus. So right away, the Vulcans up 6-2 to two on the Atlanta show. The Atlanta show coming into this game 8-1. And we'll give you the starters momentarily here. And a drive to the bucket is good. And that was by C.J. Terman. Here come the Vulcans. This is Glenn Miles. And a three-pointer is good. Another three-pointer. This by Matrell Smith. And the Vulcans... Not showing any rust, having been in the bus for uh, several hours due to a flat tire. Here they come again. Here's Glenn Miles. He's going to drive to the hoop, and he's going to score. And all of a sudden, it is a 10-4 Birmingham Vulcan lead. Here comes the Atlanta show. Here are the starting lineups for the show. C.J. Ter Terman, a power forward, number four. Number seven, Josh Montgomery. Number 11, Antoine Hall. Number 20, Marie Strong. And number 21, Paul Parks. Parks averaging 31 points a game. Ball is out of bounds, and it looks like it's going to be Vulcans basketball. We're just underway here from Life University. This is NABL-TV. I'm Ken Gustafson. Great to be with you. 10.06 to go in the first quarter. The Birmingham Vulcans have a 10-4 lead over the Atlanta show. Steve Willis with the basketball for Birmingham. Willis gives it to Jeremy Bogus. His shot is no good. Rebound taken away by the show. And now here's a pass off. Antoine Hall with it. Drive to the bucket is good. And that was Maurice Strong with the basket. So it's 10 to 6, Bir Birmingham in the lead. Here's Miles. Gets it to Willis on the, light, on the right side. Willis going to drive baseline and score. And just like that, it's 12 to 6, Birmingham. Surprise, surprise. As Birmingham didn't have a whole lot of time to warm up. And there's the shot is up and in. And that was Maurice Strong with the basket. And here come the Vulcans. Ball knocked away. Knocked away by C.J. Terman. Terman, a 6'9 forward from Elberton, Georgia, Florida Atlantic University. Here's Miles for Birmingham. And there's a three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken away by the show. Now a bounce pass to Strong. He can't get it to go. And rebound taken away by the Vulcans. Here's Miles behind the back pass. It's stolen away. Stolen away by Parks of Atlanta. Now here's C.J. Terman. He's going to dunk. 12 to 8. The Atlanta show, excuse me, 12 to 10. With 8.19 to go in the first quarter. 12 to 10, Birmingham with the lead. This is Miles with the basketball dribbling top of the key. Miles dribbles in, passes it over to Bogus, and it looks like Bogus stepped out of bounds. It's going to be Atlanta Show basketball. Atlanta Show coming into this game atop the Eastern Conference 8-1. and one. And here's Paul Parks with it. He gets it stolen away, though. Here come the Vulcans. Glenn Miles, his shot, actually the ball goes out of bounds. Ball goes out of bounds off Willis, off of Steve Willis. It's going to be Atlanta Show Basketball with 7.32 to go, 7.52 to go in the first quarter. This game was supposed to start at 4, but Birmingham had a flat tire on the way over here. And they were delayed a couple hours, but we are finally underway. Here's Antoine Hall for Atlanta. Top of the key, 
Josh Montgomery back to Hall. Hall dribbling. Hall going to try a three-pointer. Good! Antoine Hall nails it. And he gives Atlanta the lead. 13-12, 7.29 to go in the first quarter. Here come the Birmingham team, the Birmingham Vulcans. And let's see who the foul is going to be on. There you see the three-pointer by Antoine Hall. Giving, Bur giving Atlanta the lead. And there was a foul on the play, and number 34, Juan Franklin, will be at the line to shoot two. Franklin's first shot is in the air. No good. Birmingham in second place in the Eastern Conference North. They are 7-4, and four, and they trail the Huntsville Force, who are 8-3. and three. There you see Rod Roderick Hillison the head coach for the Birmingham Vulcans. Franklin's second free throw is good. It's tied at 13. Here comes the show. And let's see, that was Paul Parks driving it to the bucket. Parks averaging 31 points for the Atlanta show. He drove to the bucket and got fouled. It's not a shooting foul. And Atlanta will inbound the basketball. Parks to inbound. He gets it to Terman. Terman dribbles. He's going to take it. He's going to give it. Oh, ball stolen away. Here's Franklin with it for Birmingham. Franklin dribbling. Franklin going to try a three-pointer. It's no good. Rebound Terman. And he gives it to his point guard, Paul Parks. Parks across the timeline for Atlanta. And now here's Antoine Hall with it. Antoine Hall is fouled. And foul is on number 14, Kenny Neighbors. Neighbors, that's his first foul. It is uh, not a shooting foul. And the ball will be inbounded by Atlanta. It's 13-13, 6.46 to go in the first quarter. Parks inbounds it. He gets it back. Parks with it. Here's the pass into Terman. Terman tries to drive, but he travels. So a turnover for Atlanta, and that gives the ball back to Birmingham. 13-13 to 13 is the score. A reminder, the NABL website is the Atlanta Show are proud to complete, compete in the 2017 season of the NABL, the North American Basketball League. Follow all the NABL action online at nablbasketball.com. Watch the games live every week. Stay up to date on league news. See highlights, videos, updates, stats, and more, all at the online home of the NABL, nablbasketball.com. So Atlanta has a 15 to 13 lead. We have a timeout. While we have the timeout here, upcoming games, uh, the Atlanta show will be at the Savannah Cardinal, uh, the Cardinals, Savannah Cavaliers next Saturday, June 17th at 4 p.m. And the following Saturday after that, they'll be in Panama City to take on the Panama City Piran Piranhas, June 24th at 4 p.m. And uh, you continue, uh, the show will continue their 2017 NABL season next week, as I mentioned, against Savannah. And uh, it's Saturday, June 17th at 4 p.m. And you can follow the show on the road and watch the game live. All the NABL action is just a click away on game day at NABL basketball.com also nabl social media like us follow us gram us the nabl is live on social media with the very latest scores news and highlights on instagram twitter and facebook pull out your phones and follow the nabl on social media now and nabl tv each week the nabl will feature one highlight game for nabl tv the brand new way to see the nabl Straight from the NABL studios to your home, TV, computer, or phone, see minor league basketball's biggest stage in a way like never before on NABL TV. Check your local listings and see the schedule online at nablbasketball.com. Also, the backcourt, NABL Network. You can get an all-access pass to all things NABL on the official weekly show of the NABL, The Backcourt with Ken Buckner, with league news, player interviews, game highlights, and more. Check out this week's edition of The Backcourt online at nablbasketball.com. We're back underway 
with the Atlanta show leading 15 to 13. And the ball was out of bounds. It'll be inbounded by Birmingham. Juan Franklin to inbound it. Fifteen thirteen, Atlanta leads. This is Demarcus Threet. Threet's going to take a three pointer and nail it. Wow, sixteen fifteen, Birmingham. This is pretty impressive, seeing that this team did not have too much time to warm up. Here's. Antoine Hall with the ball for Atlanta. Hall dribbling. Good defense there by Birmingham. He gets it over to Josh Montgomery. Montgomery going to take it into the lane, and his pass is knocked away, and it's picked up by Franklin. Franklin going to take it all of the way. He's going to, oh, wow, what a play by Franklin. He got it to Jeremy Bogus, who dunked. And driving to the hoop right away is Maury Strong. Strong was fouled. And he's going to go to the line to shoot two. And there you see Franklin's alley-oop to Jeremy Bogus. Nice play. Here's Maurice Strong's first free throw. It is in the air. It is no good. And checking into the game for Atlanta is... Number six, Brandon Hopkins. He is a 5'10", 150-pound uh, uh, player from Noonan, Georgia. Played at Carver College. Maurice Strong, by the way, played at Alabama State. Here's his second free throw. It's in the air. No good as well. Free throws all of a sudden hurting the show here in the early going. But they do get the rebound, and they do have the basketball. And now... And now the ball is stolen away by Juan Franklin. Franklin going to lay it up and in. And Birmingham has a five-point lead, 20-15 to 15 in favor of the Vulcans. Here comes the show across the timeline. And shot is up, no good. Rebound by Terman. And Terman is fouled. Brandon Hopkins, as I mentioned, in the game, he is a... Uh, 5'10", 150-pound guard from Carver College. His home makes his home in Noonan, Georgia. And now coming into the game for Birmingham. Let's see, number 32. Number 32, Michael McCree checks in for the Vulcans. So Atlanta will inbound the basketball. And a three-pointer by Antoine Hall is no good. Rebound taken away by Willis of Birmingham. Here come the Vulcans across the timeline. Willis going to drive straight to the basket. He misses the layup. Ball goes out of bounds. It goes to Atlanta. So Willis unable to get the basket for Birmingham. Here comes Brandon Hopkins. Hopkins with the basketball now. Hopkins dribbling. Gets it to Paul Parks. Parks. Over to Terman, and Terman traveled. Looks like a travel. No, excuse me, I'll take that back. It is a foul against Birmingham. And uh, as we mentioned, the, the Atlanta show are atop the Eastern Conference at 8-1. and one. The, Raleigh, the Raleigh Capital Cardinals at 5-5. Five and five. We have a technical foul here as Terman makes the free throw. Score is 20 to 16 Birmingham with 424 to go in the first quarter. Hopkins inbounds it to Terman. Terman posts up. His baseline jumper is good. CJ Terman on the board. It's 20 to 18 in favor of Birmingham. And now driving to the bucket is number 12, Jeremy Bogus. And a nice block there by Terman, but he was fouled on the play. I think Terman got the foul. So Bogus at the line shooting two. First free throw is in the air. It's good. 
21 to six, uh, 21 to 18, Birmingham. Here's Bogus' second free throw. It's in the air. It is good. So now Birmingham has a four-point lead. It's 22 to 18. Here comes Brandon Hopkins for Atlanta. Hopkins pushes it, and he loses it. It's picked up. Well, Hopkins gets it back. Hopkins dribbling at the perimeter. He's going to take a three-pointer. It's off the rim, no good. Ball bounces around, picked up by Birmingham. Here come the Vulcans. And the three-pointer is no good, but tipped up. Jeremy Bogus tried to tip it in. And we've got a foul against Birmingham. I think Birmingham, I think Bogus went over the back. Here, let's see the replay. Well, Bogus knocked it out of bounds. Well, any, in, at any rate, here comes Hopkins. Hopkins dribbles all the way and scores. Brandon Hopkins gets Atlanta two points. They trail 22 to 20. Now here's a steal. Here's a steal by Terman. He gets it to Parks. Parks to Hopkins. He lays it up and in, and this game is tied. 22-22 with 3.20 to go in the first quarter. And the Atlanta show finally shows some life. Here's Birmingham with it. This is Juan Franklin. Franklin pulls up. His jumper is good. So right away, Birmingham answers, and Juan Franklin gets a bucket. It's 24-22 Vulcans. Here comes the show. This is Brandon Hopkins. Hopkins with the basketball. Gets it to Hall. Over to Maurice Strong. Back to Hall, top of the key. Over to Hopkins. And it is a three-pointer. Uh, no good. Rebound taken away by Michael McCree of Birmingham. And here come the Vulcans. They lead at 24-22, 2.41 to go in the first quarter. Steve Willis with the basketball for the Vulcans. And now they try another alley-oop. Ball goes out of bounds off of Jeremy Bogus. It'll be Atlanta basketball. And now checking into the game. Let's see. There was, excuse me, there was a timeout. There was not a substitution, but a timeout. Location uh, for the Birmingham Vulcans, Birmingham, Alabama. Their record in the East, 3-2. Owner is Larry Harris, head coach Roderick Hilson. Their first NABL season, 2017. Uh, actually, this is... Um, this is their first NABL season in 2017. Home gym for the Atlanta show is Life University. And uh, the first season in the NABL, they lost to the Atlanta show by only two points earlier in the season, 119 to 117. So this Birmingham club is a good club. Uh, the Vulcans 3-2 and two in the Eastern Conference North. Uh, and the show overall, uh, their record 8-1. and one. The show averaging 131 points a game this season. The Vulcans averaging 69.2 points per game. 4.4 per game in three-pointers by the Vulcans. The show averaging 36% in three points, three-pointers. Rebounds, 56% for the show and 9.2 for the Vulcans. Now back to action. And Hopkins gets it. Oh, Hopkins going to take a three-pointer from the ba from the uh, baseline. It's no good, and picked up by Birmingham. This is Glenn Miles. Glenn Miles, his jumper from the free throw, no good. Rebound is taken away by Terman, and here comes the show. Hopkins, he's going to take a long three-pointer. Good nails. Brandon Hopkins hits the three and gives Atlanta the lead, 25-24, 150 to go in the first quarter. And another steal. We got a steal. And all alone is Paul Parks with the layup, 27-24 Atlanta. So a 5-0 run by the show. And now a turnover. A turnover by Birmingham. As number 22 just threw it out of bounds. That number 22 is DeMarcus Threet. Threet just uh, miscommunicated there, threw the ball out of bounds. It's Atlanta basketball, a minute 32 to go in the first quarter. Glad you could join us. I'm Ken Gustafson. This is NABL-TV, live from Life University, the Atlanta Show and the Birmingham Vulcans. Hopkins. 
Hopkins with the basketball now. Now into the game for Atlanta is number 15. That is Norm Stewart. Hopkins, he scores. Hopkins dribbled along the, around the lane, hit a little short jumper. It's 29-24 Atlanta, 7-0 run. And now Birmingham has it. Ball almost goes out of bounds, but they save it. And the shot is up and no good. That shot was taken by, let's see, number 10 for the Vulcans. That is Matrell Smith. He was fouled on the shot, and so he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. 29-24, the Atlanta show lead. They are 8-1. and one. Here's Smith's first free throw. It's up and no good. Birmingham, 7-4 overall. Here's the second free throw from Smith. It, too, is no good. Rebound taken away by Hopkins of Atlanta. Here comes Brandon Hopkins. Hopkins dribbles, and he scores. What a show put on by Brandon Hopkins for the show. 31-24, Atlanta leads by seven. But here comes Birmingham. And shot is no good, goes out of bounds. It's off of the Vulcans. It's going to be Atlanta basketball. So just like that, a 9-0 run by the Atlanta show gives them a seven-point lead with 34 seconds to go in the first quarter. And perhaps some of the... Uh... Well, here's Hopkins with the shot, no good. Ball is rebounded by the Vulcans. Here comes Glenn Miles with it. Miles dribbles. Miles guarded by Stewart. Now Miles going to take it all the way in, and it's jammed home by Steve Willis. So 31-26, Birmingham ends the 9-0 run. 14 seconds to go in the first quarter, and Atlanta's going to hold for the last shot. This is Hopkins, and we have a foul on the inside as... Michael McCree got knocked to the floor. It's going to be against Atlanta. 5.6 seconds to go, and Birmingham is going to take the last shot. Birmingham, for having uh, had such a long delay, playing well. And the shot is no good, and that's the end of the first quarter. Your score at the, at the end of one. The Atlanta show 31 the Birmingham Vulcans, 26. We'll take a break. We'll send it to Ken Buckner. You're watching NABL-TV. Life University. I'm Ken Gustafson. You're watching NABL TV, the Atlanta show on the Birmingham Vulcans. The show lead at 31 26. We start the second quarter. Bounce pass from Willis gets it to number 10. That is Matrell Smith, but Matrell Smith traveled. Turnover, Atlanta basketball. Birmingham was up 24 to 22, but Atlanta went on a 9 0 run and they lead at 31 26 as we. Uh, Start the second quarter here. Norm Stewart with a three-pointer. It is off the way off the mark. But Josh Montgomery's going to try a three-pointer. It's no good. And it went off of a Vulcan player. And so it's going to stay down here with Atlanta. 31-26, the Atlanta show lead it. We're just beginning the second quarter, 11.32 to go. Hopkins, in, here's Hopkins with the ball, I should say. Norm Stewart with it. Now back to Hopkins. Hopkins three-pointer. Good! Nails! Brandon Hopkins gives Atlanta an eight-point lead. 34-26. Here's Glenn Miles with the ball for Birmingham. 
He gets a screen. Miles. And now the shot is up and good. I believe that was Michael McCree. Actually, no, that was, num that was number 12. Jeremy Bogus with the basket. Now Atlanta with the basketball. Ball goes out of bounds. As we see the three-pointer by Brandon Hopkins giving Atlanta an eight-point lead. Actually, it's, it's a six-point six lead. Three is no good. Ball goes out of bounds. And checking into the game for Birmingham. Checking into the game, this is number, number 24. This is Kinoa Stevenson checking in for the Vulcans. Here's the inbound pass to Hopkins. Hopkins gets it to Norm Stewart. Stewart, three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken away by the Vulcans. Here comes Glenn Miles. Miles gets it in. Oops, layup is missed by Matrell Smith, and here come the show. Norm Stewart has it now for the show. He gives it to Brandon Hopkins. Brandon pulls up. His shot no good. Terman gets the rebound, and he scores. So it is now 36-28. to 28. Atlanta with an eight-point lead. 10-17 to go in the first half. Birmingham with the basketball. And now another steal. This one by Josh Montgomery, and he dunks and scores. It's 38-28. Atlanta up by 10. Here comes Steve Willis for Birmingham. And a good defense there by Montgomery. Number 12, Bogus has it. Jeremy Bogus. And now Miles, he's gonna tie, he's gonna try a shot. No good. Rebound is put up and in by Matrell Smith. So it is now 38 to 30. Atlanta with an eight-point lead. Here's Hopkins with the basketball. Hopkins stops, he pulls out. And ball is taken away. Stole by Miles. And here's Smith. Now Bogus was going to drive baseline and score. But we have a, I guess, a travel call. There you see the dunk by Josh Montgomery. Montgomery is a 6'5", 200-pound small forward from Seattle, Washington. He played his college ball at Savannah State. 9.22 to go in the first half. Atlanta is up 38-30. to 30. Brandon Hopkins with the basketball. He crosses the timeline. Goes over to the right side. Hopkins. He thinks about it. Now he's going to shoot and make it. Brandon Hopkins with another basket. And Atlanta's back up by 10, 40-30. Nine minutes to go in the half. Here's Glenn Miles drives into the... In towards the basket, he loses it, loses it out of bounds. And it's going to be Atlanta's basketball. And now checking in for Birmingham is number 22, DeMarcus Street. He checks back into the ball game. Here's Hopkins with the basketball. Hopkins across the timeline. He dribbles. Gets a nice screen for Maurice Strong. Now Paul Parks with it, gets it to Montgomery on the, li on the right side. Josh Montgomery over to Strong, Strong. As Atlanta moves the ball around very quickly. Shot is no good, rebound taken, oh, a steal. And the basket is no good by number six, Hopkins. And here's Birmingham with it, and number 22, that's DeMarcus Street, he scores. So it's 40 to 32 in favor of Atlanta. Here comes the show. Paul Parks, a long three pointer, no good. And the ball taken away by Strong, but he is going to be called for an over the back foul. Marie Strong with a strong rebound, but again, he's called for going over the back. And there you see the bucket by DeMarcus Street earlier, uh, cutting Atlanta's lead to 40 to 32. 7.59 to go in the half. Atlanta coming into this game eight and one. Their only loss 
to the Huntsville Force, the only loss in team history. Here's Juan Franklin drives, and it's shot is blocked by Paul Parks. It's it, uh, but it's blocked out of bounds. Nice block there. Actually, a number 25 for Atlanta was in on that too. Number 25, Marcus Johnson, who's checked into the game. So nice teamwork by Parks and Johnson. Birmingham inbounds the basketball. And here's Matrell Smith. Now number 14, Kenny Neighbors tries to score. Here's Franklin's shot, it's no good. Rebound by Hopkins. We go the other way. Here's Brandon Hopkins with the ball. Hopkins dribbles and scores. Brandon Hopkins dribbles all the way in and scores. And it's 42-32 Atlanta. Here comes the Vulcans. And a three-pointer, long three-pointer by Michael McCree, no good, rebounded by Willis. Vulcans still have it. Now it's stolen away in a long, fast-break pass over to Strong. Maurice Strong got it, and he tried to get it to Marcus Johnson, and the ref called something here. Let's see. Did he call a foul? I think he called a foul. And so Marcus Johnson will be at the line. Shooting two shots. Johnson's first shot is up and no good. A reminder, NABL Championship Series, to earn their spot in the NABL Championship Series, teams from across two countries have to fight to win their way to, to Atlanta. To earn your spot, all you have to have is a ticket. Make your plans now to be at the 2017 NABL Championship Series, July 29th and 30th in Atlanta, Georgia, as the 2017 NABL champion will be crowned. And you can find out more at nablbasketball.com. Now back to action. Here's Juan Franklin. He dribbles in. He's triple teamed. Franklin gets it back out to Willis. Willis at the baseline. He gets it back to Franklin. Franklin going to try a three-pointer. It's an air ball, but it was rebounded by the Vulcans, but they throw it away. So an empty possession for Birmingham. And Atlanta will get the ball. They are up 42-32 with 6.43 to go in the half. Here's Brandon Hopkins with the ball now. Hopkins across the timeline over on the right side. Hopkins dribbles, sets up the offense. He gets it to Montgomery. Montgomery going to try a three-pointer. It's off the mark, no good. Montgomery hustles for the rebound, but it goes off of him, and it's going to be Birmingham basketball. Nice hustle by Josh Montgomery. Just unable to hold on to it. It is 43-32. Atlanta up by 11. 6.28 to go in the first half. And we do have a timeout here. Timeout on the floor. While we have the timeout, NABL loves the community. And the NABL does love the community. Every community that, ha that uh, it serves. To the players, coaches, and teams of the NABL, the passion for excellence and pride goes beyond the court across 19 cities and spanning two countries. The NABL is reaching out to the community with the NABL Loves the Community initiative, serving uh, those in our inner cities, schools, and beyond to help make a difference. You can find out more uh, and how the NABL can help your community at nablbasketball.com. And upcoming games, we have the, oh, goodness. The United team is 8-2 and two facing, I can't tell who that is. Let's see. The, these are the upcoming games. The Wolverines at 1-8, and eight, taking on the Hoyas at 5-4. and four. The Music City Kings at 4-9. and nine. Taking on the uh, Cavaliers at two and seven. I believe that's the Ra the Raleigh Capital Cavaliers. So back to action here. 
6.28 to go. Atlanta up 43-32. Brandon Hopkins, the story of this, uh, this game so far. Here come the Vulcans. And they're gonna, and a three-pointer is taken, no good. Rebound is uh, pulled down and taken away by the show. Maurice Strong over to Josh Montgomery who scores. Josh Montgomery with the basket. Here's Juan Franklin. Franklin gets it inside and scoring is number 14, Kenny Neighbors. And we've got a uh, stoppage of play. Another timeout. Apparently, Coach David Kessler didn't like that possession. And we have a timeout on the floor. Five fifty one to go in the first half as Atlanta has a forty five thirty four lead Atlanta uh, Birmingham started out strong in this game. And there you see a long alley -oop pass to CJ Terman. Birmingham started out strong in this game. Um, went up 21 16 and were up 24 22 but then a 9 0 run uh, powered by Brandon Hopkins and Josh Montgomery. Gave the Atlanta show a 31-24 lead, and they have just taken over since then. So back to action here. Darius Scott checking into the game for Atlanta, and we have a basket by Maurice Strong. 47-34. The, the Atlanta show with a 13-point lead. Here come the Vulcans with the basketball now. Juan Franklin, top of the key. Franklin dribbling. He gets a screen from Bogus. Now Franklin going to drive into the lane. His shot is up and good. So Juan Franklin with the basket. Now we got a long fast break basket uh, pass. It's chased down by Montgomery. Montgomery now has it for Atlanta. Montgomery gets it to Parks. Over to Scott and inside to Antoine Hall, who scores, but a foul is called first. So let's see, is that a shooting? It's not a shooting foul. And Paul Parks will inbound the basketball for Atlanta as they lead 47-34, 4.57 to go in the first half. Here's Antoine Hall with the basketball for Atlanta. Gets it to Montgomery, top of the key. Montgomery, he's going to drive in. He loses it. It's picked up by Antoine Hall. His shot no good. The shot clock ran out, and Birmingham now has the basketball. And now driving into the lane is Franklin, and his shot is no good. Rebound taken away by Strong. Strong with the basketball. And the three-pointer there is no good by Hall. It's chased down by the show. Now Paul Parks has it. Parks bounce, beautiful bounce pass to, to number seven, Josh Montgomery. Shot is no good. Montgomery was fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. NABL fan store. Don't just be a fan of your favorite team. The NABL team, uh, or the sh the, you can show the world how the, now that you can find the official licensed merchandise of the NABL fan store. You can show the world uh, that you are a supporter of the NABL. You can go to the fan store online, and, uh, and uh, it's updated frequently with the latest and more, nablbasketball.com. Josh Montgomery at the free throw line. His shot is up and good. So it's 49-36. Atlanta with a 13-point lead. 4.07 to go in the first half. And Steve Willis is going to shoot it for Birmingham. It's no good. Rebounded by Montgomery. Montgomery to Strong. Strong 
Gonna dribble into the lane. Strong shot is no good, it's blocked. Blocked by Miles. And into the game for Atlanta is number, I wanna say number 12. No, number 15, Norm Stewart checks in. So Atlanta inbounds the basketball. They get it in, oh, nice play there. Nice inbound pass and score by number 21, Paul Parks. 51-36, Atlanta with a 15-point lead. And now driving to the hoop for Birmingham. His shot is no good. Atlanta with the rebound. The show in total control. Here's Norm Stewart with the ball. Oh, nice entry pass into, into uh, number 20, Marie Strong, who jams at home. 53-36. Atlanta with a 17-point lead, 3.15 to go in the first half. Miles with the ball, bounce pass into Bogus. Bogus shot no good, Stewart with the rebound, long outlet pass, and the layup is good. So two more points for Atlanta. Last, uh, last basket there was by Paul Parks. Birmingham shot no good. And here comes Atlanta again. Atlanta in total control. Paul Parks with the basketball. Parks dribbles toward the right side. Now Parks is gonna dribble into the lane. He gives it to Stewart. Stewart baseline three-pointer, good! Norm Stewart with a three-pointer. And Atlanta has blown this game open. 58-36 with 2.22 to go in the first half. Here's Glenn Miles for Birmingham. His entry pass, shot is no good, rebounded by Stewart of Atlanta. Here comes Norm Stewart. Norm Stewart sh stops and pops, and the ball uh, bounces off the rim and over the backboard. It's gonna be out of bounds to Birmingham. The Atlanta show has just taken over with the play of Josh Montgomery, Brandon Hopkins, now big three-pointer by Norm Stewart. And let's see, do we have another timeout on the floor? Looks like we do. And I wanna remind you again, the backcourt NABL network, uh, it's called the backcourt. It, you can get an all access pass to all things NABL on the official weekly show of the NABL, the backcourt with Ken Buckner. With league news, player interviews, game highlights, and more, check out the this week's edition of the backcourt online at nablbasketball.com. Also, NABL live stream, uh, nabllive.com. You can catch this in every single game of the 27 NA 2017 NABL season. Live, whether your favorite team is on the road or home, you can follow all the teams of the NABL and see the game live with stats, updates, and live video streaming, all at the online home of the NABL, nablbasketball.com. The Atlanta show in total control here, 58-36. You wouldn't have known this the first few minutes of the game as Birmingham came out on fire. But since that 9-0 run early in the first, uh, in the middle of the first quarter, I should say, the show have taken control. And driving into the hoop is Steve Willis, but he misses his shot, rebound by McCree, and his shot is no good, but he's fouled. So Michael McCree will go to the free throw line for Birmingham to shoot two shots. This game was supposed to start at four o'clock, but the Vulcan, the Vulcan's van experienced a flat tire and that delayed the team by two hours. And the first free throw is no good. And McCree's second free throw is on the way. It is up and it is good. So 58-37 as McCree hits one of two. Here comes the show. And dribbling into the lane was Paul Parks, but he had it stripped away and Juan Franklin goes the other way and scores. So it's 58-39 Atlanta. A minute 44 to go in the first half. And this is a three-pointer by Darius Scott. 
Oh. Darius Scott with a three-pointer. 61-39 Atlanta. And now stolen. Stolen away. And oh, what a pass. What a... Or it was stolen away long... As Birmingham, Birmingham has it back now. Just a few minutes ago, it was stolen. It was stolen away by Atlanta. They tried an alley oop. It couldn't. Uh, wasn't able to go. Now Birmingham had it. As Juan Franklin lays it up and in. And here's the three pointer by Scott. It's good. And now at the line is Matrell Smith. His first free throw is good. So 61 to 40 is the score. Now Atlanta with a 21 point lead. Checking into the game for Birmingham is number 22. That is Demarcus Threat. Here's Smith's second free throw. It is around the rim and in. 61 41. Atlanta with the ball now. A minute 10 to go in the first half. Here's Paul Parks with the ball. Parks over on the right, uh, the uh, left side. Parks is going to drive into the hoop. His shot is no good, but he's fouled. So Paul Parks will go to the free throw line to shoot two. And there's, you see the nice, strong drive by Paul Parks. And he'll be at the line to shoot two. Parks, a uh, point guard, 6'3", out of Anderson, South Carolina, played his college ball at Point University, the team's leading scorer, 31 points a game, and his first free throw is good. So now the score is 62 to 40 in favor of Atlanta. Here's the second free throw is up and good, 63 to 40. And here come the Vulcans. Micah McCree has it. McCree shot no good. Nice defense there by Paul Parks. Now outlet too strong, but it goes out of bounds over Strong's head, and it's going to be a turnover. Or is it? No, I take that back. It was knocked off of a Birmingham player. Parks inbounds the ball. He has it now. 44 seconds. Parks going to dribble. Bounce pass over to Stewart. Three-pointer by Stewart is good. Norm Stewart with his second three-pointer. And it's 66 to 40, Atlanta. Here comes three for Birmingham. Three layup, no good. Rebounded by Juan Franklin. His shot is no good. And we have, we have uh, it's not a shooting foul. And ball will be inbounded by Birmingham. And there's a drive by Franklin. The shot is up no good, but he is fouled on the play. So Juan Franklin goes to the line to shoot two with uh, 21.5 seconds to go. Birmingham down by 26 points, 66 to 40. Franklin's first free throw is uh, around the rim, no good. And leaving the game for Birmingham is Jeremy Bogus. Checking in is Kenny Neighbors. Here's Franklin's next free throw. It's up and it's good. 66-41, Atlanta with a 25-point lead, 21.5 seconds to go. Here's the inbounds as Birmingham tries to put on some pressure. Here's Norm Stewart with the ball now. Stewart over to Antoine Hall. Now Antoine Hall gives it to, to Paul Parks, the, the uh, point guard. Parks guarded by DeMarcus Threat. Seven seconds. Here's Parks with it. Five seconds. Parks. Got to do something. Bounce pass is stolen away by Birmingham. And there's a long shot. No good off the backboard. And that ends the half. We are at halftime here at Life University with the Atlanta show in total control. 66 to 41 over the Birmingham Vulcans. We will be right back. You're watching NABL TV.
here at halftime at Life University, the Atlanta show up on the Bir Birmingham Vulcans, 66 to 42. Let's look at some first half ha highlights. Back here at halftime, the show up 66-42 on the Vulcans. Here are leading scorers. First for the Vulcans, Jeremy Bogus leads them with 12 points. And number 34, number 34, that is Juan Franklin, has 10 points. The leading scorers for the Atlanta show, Brandon Hopkins had a terrific first half, 16 points. And... Close behind him, C.J. Terman with nine points as we begin the second half. The Atlanta show in total control, 66-42. It was close early on as Birmingham at one time had a five-point lead at 21-16. And then at one point it was 24-22 Birmingham. But then the show went on a 9-0 run thanks mainly to Brandon Hopkins putting on a show and since then the Atlanta show has just taken over 66 42 as we begin the second half Birmingham having it tough today uh, getting here two hours late due to a flat tire and here comes Glenn Miles with the basketball for the Vulcans Miles dribbling Miles Still with the ball, dribbling. He uh, His shot is up. It is no good. He gets his own re and rebound taken away by Atlanta. Long outlet pass. And that's a three-pointer. No good. Rebound taken away by the Vulcans again. And here's Glenn Miles. Miles drives to the hoop. And he is the shot is blocked by Paul Parks. And here's the replay. And wow, that looked like he got all ball. That was uh, actually, that was Antoine Hall with a block. But they did call the foul on Hall. And so Miles at the free throw line shooting two. 66-42 Atlanta 
We're just underway in the second half. Here's the first free throw. It's good. 66-43. Upcoming games, the Atlanta Show continues the 2017 NABL season next week as they travel to Savannah to take on the, the uh, Savannah Cavaliers. Game is at 4 p.m. next Saturday. Here's Brandon Hopkins. Hopkins looked like he tried to pass it, and he was fouled. And the ball's going to go out of bounds to Atlanta. No shooting foul. Now Josh Montgomery going to inbound the basketball to Antoine Hall. Antoine Hall with it. Antoine Hall still with it. Now he gets it to Parks, whose, three, whose uh, jumper is no good. Rebound taken away by Birmingham. Here's Glenn Miles. Miles. And now number 12, that was Jeremy Bogus with the shot. No good. Birmingham tried to, to keep it. That was number two. Number two, Steve Willis loses it out of bounds. It's back to Atlanta. Here's Paul Parks. Parks, his jumper, up no good. And not, ball is knocked out of bounds by Bogus. It's, it re remains Atlanta basketball. 66-44, the Atlanta show with a 22-point lead. 10.48 to go in the third quarter. And here's Josh Montgomery. Nice scoop and score. Nice play by Josh Montgomery. Nice drive to the bucket. He scooped and scored, and he was fouled. So he's got a chance for a three-point play. There you see the highlight, Josh Montgomery. And here is his chance to convert the three-point play. His free throw in the air. It is around the rim. No good. Can't get it to go. Rebound taken away by Franklin of Birmingham. Here's Franklin with the basketball. And now driving to the bucket is Miles. Miles, his shot is good. Glenn Miles with the basket. It's now a 20, 22 point lead, 68 46. Here's Paul Parks, three pointer. No good. Rebound, though. Nice rebound by Brandon Hopkins. Hopkins, baseline jumper. It's blocked by Steve Willis, but Willis is called for the foul and. Willis slammed the basketball. I'm wondering if it's gonna if there's gonna be a technical tacked on. Here's Hopkins. His shot. And wow, just Willis slammed the basketball. Yes, a technical foul on Steve Willis. And Paul Parks will be at the line to shoot the technical. Kind of a silly play by Willis. And Parks misses the free throw. So Atlanta will keep the basketball. They're up by 22, 68, 46. There you see, there you see Roderick Hilson. He's probably wondering why Willis slammed the basketball. And now two shots for Brandon Hopkins, who was fouled by Willis. Here's his first free throw. It's in the air. It's good. 69, 46 in favor of Atlanta. Here's Hopkins' second free throw. It's in the air, and it's good. 70 to 46. Here come the Vulcans, and already the whistle blows. And we have a timeout. Timeout taken by the Vulcans. And while we have a timeout, the NABL website, uh, you can see the Atlanta show and other teams. Uh, the show are proud to compete in the 2017 season of the NABL, the North American Basketball League. You can follow all the NABL action online at nablbasketball.com. You can watch the games live every week, stay up to date on league news, see highlight videos, updated stats, and more, all at the online home for the NABL, nablbasketball.com.
Also want to remind you that uh, each week the NABL will feature one highlight game for NABL TV, the brand new way to see the NABL straight from the NABL studios to your home TV, computer, or phone. See minor league basketball's biggest stage in a way like never before on NABL TV. Check your local listings and see the schedule online at NABLbasketball.com. Back to action. Birmingham with the basketball. Three-pointer by Montrell Smith. No good. Rebound taken away by the show. And here's Paul Parks with it. Paul Parks with the basketball, guarded by Willis. Now Hopkins has it, gets it to Montgomery. Montgomery dribbles, and a baseline three-pointer by Hopkins is no good. Rebound taken away by the Vulcans. This is Miles. He gets it in to Matrell Smith. His layup no good. Rebound taken away by Atlanta. Marie Strong with the rebound. Out to Hopkins. Hopkins dribbles, pops, and makes it. Brandon Hopkins with another basket. It's 72-46 Atlanta. The show running away with this one. And there's a basket. And I believe, yes, that was number 10, Matrell Smith with the basket, 72-48. Here comes Hopkins. Now Parks has it. He's going to take a three-pointer. Good! Nails! Paul Parks with a three-pointer, 75-46. Nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Here's Willis with the ball now for Birmingham. His shot no good. Rebound taken away by the show. Here's Brandon Hopkins with the basketball. And he gets it out to Antoine Hall for a three-pointer. No good, but tipped up and in by Josh Montgomery. 77-46 Atlanta. Here's Jeremy Bogus for Birmingham. He gets it to Franklin. Franklin drives. He pushes off. That's going to be an offensive foul as, as he knocks down Josh Montgomery. We take it the other way. So good defense by Josh Montgomery. And the Atlanta show are showing why they are the best team in the NABL at 8-1. and one. And now here's a three-pointer. This one by Hopkins, no good. But rebound by Parks is up and in. Actually, that was Maurice Strong with the basket. Maurice Strong with the basket for Atlanta, 79-46. to 46. And now Franklin scores for Birmingham, 79-48. Now coming up, come the other way for Atlanta. Here's a three-pointer by Paul Parks. Air ball. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by Birmingham. It looked like it knocked out of bounds by Birmingham. And let's see the replay. And yeah, it looked like uh, Miles... It looked like Miles knocked it out last. And it is going to be Atlanta basketball as Parks will inbound it. Parks. And that ball is out of bounds. And uh, possession is going to remain with the Atlanta show. 79-48, 7 to go in the third quarter. as Paul Parks ready to inbound it. Here's Parks to inbound it. Gets it to Hopkins. Hopkins back to Parks. Parks going to try a three-pointer. No good. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to go over to Birmingham. And checking into the game for, let's see, checking into the game for Birmingham, I believe, is well, number 14, that is uh, Kenny Neighbors waiting to check in. Now here's a oh, nice pass there by uh, Bogus. Franklin has it. His shot no good. Bogus with the rebound. His shot no good. Rebound picked up by, by uh, Steve Willis. He drives to the basket for a layup. It is missed, but he is fouled. So Steve Willis will go to the free throw line to shoot the ball for, shoot free throws for Birmingham. And 
And the free throw is in the air. It's no good. Now checking in for Birmingham is number 14. That's Kenny Neighbors. And also checking in for Atlanta is number eight. Number zero, excuse me, that's Darius Scott. And the free throw is missed by Willis. Birmingham gets the rebound, though. Here's DeMarcus Threet. DeMarcus Threet into Bogus. His shot no good. Rebound taken away by the show. And here's Darius Scott with it. Bounce pass. That is Marie Strong who scores. Nice bounce pass by Scott and nice basket by Marie Strong. It's 81 to 50 in favor of the show. Uh, Kenny Neighbors had it momentarily. He passed it, tried to get it over to Franklin. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it's a turnover. It's going to go over to Atlanta. 6.56 to go in the third quarter. Here's Brandon Hopkins with the ball. Hopkins dribbles. He shoots off the backboard. No good. And, and what do we have here? Looked like an offensive foul against uh, Brandon Hopkins. So it's going to go the other way. Birmingham with the basketball. 81-50, to 50, Atlanta in total control. 6.46 to go in the third quarter. Here's Michael McCree. And stolen away by Strong. Strong. He gets it to Paul Parks who jams. And it's 83-50, to 50, Atlanta. And the crowd goes wild. 6.27 to go. And Franklin for Birmingham dribble all the way in. The ball was knocked out of bounds. And there you see the flush by Paul Parks, the leading scorer for the show at 31 points a game. Birmingham inbounds the basketball. Here's McCree. McCree over to Threet. Threet dribbles into the lane. His... Hit stolen by the show, and here's Brandon Hopkins off the backboard and flushed down by Maurice Strong. The show are showing off right now. They're having some fun. It's 85 to 50, and there's a foul on Paul Parks. So that stops things momentarily. Five fifty-eight to go. It's 85-50 as Birmingham inbounds the ball. Here's Steve Willis with the basketball. Willis. And that ball, ball is stolen again by the show. Birmingham keeps turning it over. And now we have another alley-oop, and this one does not succeed. But there is a foul called. And let's see. Maurice Strong... He went up to try and score, and he was fouled, so he'll go to the line to shoot two. Atlanta 85, Birmingham 50, and there is a timeout on the floor. And let's go to, see, let's go to some highlights here. And what a beautiful bounce pass there as uh, Maurice Strong slams it home. And there you see the outlet pass and score. Paul Parks to Norm Stewart with the three-pointer. And the show just putting on a clinic today, folks. Here's Juan Franklin with a basket for Birmingham. And into the game, Darius Scott with a three-pointer. Here's Parks again over to Stewart. Stewart's going to shoot a three. It's good. Want to remind you about the NABL live stream. You can catch this game and every single game of the 2017 NABL season live. Whether your favorite team is on the road or at home, follow the team, uh, your favorite team of the NABL, and see the game live with stats, updates, and live video streaming all at the online home of the NABL, nablbasketball.com. Also, the NABL fan store. Don't just be a fan of your favorite NABL team. You can show the world 
now you can find the official licensed merchandise of the NABL Fan Store online and updated frequently with the latest and more NABLBasketball.com. So back to action out of the timeout. It's 85-50. Atlanta with a 35-point lead. And the Atlanta show showing you why they're the best team in the league. Their only loss coming to the Huntsville Force a couple of weeks ago, a 113-111 defeat, and that was their only loss in team history. They are the defending champions of the NABL, the Atlanta show, winning it last year in the, uh, the league's inaugural season, and they aim to do the same this year as Maurice Strong heads to the free throw line to shoot two. Strong's first free throw is around the rim and no good. Kind of a line drive shot. Hit the rim, bounced around, and out. Strong gets the second free throw. Here it is. It's in the air, and this one is good. He made a slight adjustment, and he got the second free throw. It's 86 to 50. 543 to go in the third quarter. And do we have a foul on a three-point shot? No, we don't. We have a travel. It looks like a travel. So another turnover for Birmingham. Into the game for the Vulcans, Otis Bridges. So uh, Birmingham emptying its bench a little bit, getting some guys some playing time. The show are going to do the same, I'm sure. And ball is knocked out of bounds. It's going to remain Atlanta basketball as Brandon Hopkins inbounds it. Here's Parks. Parks shoots and scores. Paul Parks gets another basket. It's 88 to 50 Atlanta. 5.17 to go. We're only in the third quarter. Here's DeMarcus three with a three-pointer. Off the mark, no good. Rebound taken away by Atlanta. Outlet pass to Hopkins. Hopkins pulls up. Now he's going to drive to the bucket. His layup is no good. And it looks like a foul. It's going to be foul over the back against Atlanta. And let's see here. Strong went for the rebound. Uh, Willis got it, and S Strong fouled Willis. Here's Street with the ball for Birmingham, guarded by Hopkins. Street is his, his uh, he gets up, passes it over to um, number 11, the number 12, Jeremy Bogus, who jams it home. Here's Paul Parks with a shot. It's up, no good. And Strong gets the rebound. His shot is up, no good. Atlanta remain, uh, retains possession, though. Darius Scott, three-pointer, no good. Brandon Hopkins, three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken away by Willis. Out to DeMarcus Threet for Birmingham. Threet pushing it. Threet is going to get fouled. Let's see. That is against Parks. And DeMarcus Threet's going to go to the free-throw line. It's 88-52, to 52, 4.21 to go in the third quarter. Atlanta averaging 131 points a game for the season, and you can see why. Explosive offense as DeMarcus Threet hits the first free throw to make it 88 to 52. Now checking into the game for Atlanta is number 25, Marcus Johnson. Here's the second free throw from Threet. It is in the air and it is around the rim, no good. Rebound taken away by Paul Parks. Here's Parks with it. Parks over to Hopkins. Hopkins gets it to Johnson, back to Hopkins who scores. Boy, nice ball movement by the Atlanta show. 90 to 53 Atlanta, 4.03 to go in the third quarter. Here's Willis for Birmingham. Willis dribbling. And Willis gets it to McCree, back to Willis. Willis over to Threet on the left side. Threet, his shot is up, no good. And let's see, there was a foul call, I believe.
And DeMarcus Threet headed back to the free throw line. 90 to 53 Atlanta. Again, Birmingham started out strong in this game. They were up by five, but a 9-0 run in the first quarter by the Atlanta show, powered by Brandon Hopkins. After that 9-0 run, Atlanta just took over from there. And here's the second free throw from three. He makes both free throws, so it's 90 to 55 Atlanta. And here comes Brandon Hopkins with a basketball. Hopkins dribbling. Top of the key, now gets it over to Darius Scott. His drive is no good. And here's DeMarcus Threat for Birmingham. Threat, his shot is up, no good. Rebounded by Josh Montgomery. Montgomery out to Marcus Johnson, now to Hopkins. Now back to Paul Parks. Parks' shot is good. Paul Parks with a basket. 92 to 55, 308 to go in the third quarter. Unbelievable, we're still only in the third quarter. Here's Birmingham with it. And there's a three-pointer. And that was Michael McCree, uh, number th actually that was Otis Bridges with the basket. And Paul Park's going to try and answer. His shot no good. Rebounded by Threet. DeMarcus Threet has it for the Vulcans. Threet gets it over to, I believe that was, yeah, that was number 14, Kenny Neighbors with a three-pointer. 92 to 60, Atlanta. Here's Scott with the basketball now. Darius Scott gets it to Marcus Johnson. And the ball is stolen away by McCree of Birmingham. Here comes Steve Willis. Now Bridges has it. Bridges looked like he shuffled his feet, or no, he was fouled. I thought for a second he shuffled his feet and traveled, but he was fouled. And uh, we have a timeout on the floor. And I'm sure probably at this point you'll see some uh, both teams emptying their benches. If not now, pretty soon. The NABL Championship Series. To earn their spot in the NABL Championship Series, teams from, area, from uh, across two countries have to fight to win their way to Atlanta. But to earn your spot, all you need to have is a ticket. Make your plans now to be at the 2017 NABL Championship Series, July 29th and 30th in Atlanta, as the 2017 NABL champion will be crowned. And you can find out more at nablbasketball.com. And that uh, championship series is going to be right here at Life University. We are at Life University in Marietta, Georgia, about uh, 15 miles north of downtown Atlanta. Birmingham Vulcans out on the floor right now. As Otis Bridges is at the line. Ninety-two to sixty in favor of Atlanta. Here's Bridges' first free throw. It's in the air. It is no good off the front rim. To the players, coaches, and fan or teams of the NABL, the passion for excellence and pride goes beyond the court. Across 19 cities and spanning two countries, the NABL is reaching out to the community with the NABL Loves Community. More on that in just a minute. Here's, uh, oops, Brandon Hopkins kicked it accidentally, and the ball goes out of bounds. The NABL has the NABL Loves the Community Initiative, serving those in our inner cities, schools, and beyond to help make a difference. You can find out more on how the NABL can help your community at nablbasketball.com. And McCree goes to the basket for Birmingham. He is fouled with a minute 52 to go in the third quarter. Actually, that was Otis Bridges. 
Bridges going to go to the free throw line again. And here's his first free throw. It's around the rim and out. No good. A lot of missed free throws missed today, um, particularly on the Birmingham team. As you see Antoine Hall coming into the game for Atlanta. Here's Bridges' second free throw. It's in the air, and this one is n no good either. But rebounded by Birmingham. The shot is missed, and it's taken by Brandon Hopkins of Atlanta. Here comes Hopkins. Hopkins, oh, off the hands of Marcus Johnson. A turnover. It'll go back over to Birmingham. That's one of those things where you, you think about shooting first before catching the basketball. Tough break for Johnson. Here's Marcus, DeMarcus Threat for Birmingham. Threat gets it over to, let's see, that was number, thir number 34, Juan Franklin with a three-pointer. So 92-64 Atlanta. Here's Hopkins with the ball now. A minute 19 to go in the third. Antoine Hall with it, guarded by Bridges. Hall gets it to Josh Montgomery. Now Josh Montgomery drives. He gets it to Johnson, and looks like Johnson's fouled. He dished, okay. Josh Montgomery dished it off to Johnson, who went up to try and score and just lost the handle. Here's Threat with the ball for Birmingham. And Threat going to go all the way and score. So DeMarcus Threat gets a basket. It's 92-66, 57 seconds to go in the third quarter. Here comes the Atlanta show. They're not stopping. Here's Hopkins. Hopkins. Now Paul Parks has it top of the key. Parks with it. Guarded by Neighbors. Parks. He gets it over to Hopkins. His three-pointer no good. And Paul Parks had a, had a short shot, but he missed it. Rebound taken by McCree of Birmingham. McCree over to Franklin. Franklin gets it to Bridges. His shot is up no good. And rebound taken away by Hall of Atlanta. Outlet pass. And score by number one, no, excuse me, number seven, Josh Montgomery. 94-66 Atlanta. And here's Threat with a long three-pointer, and it's no good. Rebound taken away by the show. Now we got a long, another long outlet pass as the horn sounds, and the shot went in, but it's not going to count. <laughs> the shot went in by Paul Parks, but it was after the horn sound, and that ends the third quarter with Atlanta up 94 to 66. You're watching the NAB you're watching NABL TV. With the start of the fourth quarter, Atlanta in total control, 94 to 66. Josh Montgomery and Brandon Hopkins really making the engine go for Atlanta. And here's Hopkins with it. And they try an alley oop. It's no good. So the ball goes over to Birmingham. Birmingham came into this game at 7-4, second place in their division of the Eastern Conference North. Atlanta it came in at 8-1, and, and they are well on their way to being 9-1 and one as DeMarcus Threat scores for the Vulcans. 
Last time these two teams met, it was much closer with Atlanta winning at 119-117 back on April 22nd. Here's Montgomery, bounce pass to Parks. Parks, oh, nice shot. That was a nice shot by Paul Parks. 95-68. Now Birmingham with it. As McCree has it, his shot is blocked by Hall, blocked out of bounds. And there you see the nice fadeaway jumper by Paul Parks. And a, a nice shot there by Juan Franklin. He gets it to go. It's 95 to 70, and he was fouled. And now checking into the game is Norm Stewart for Atlanta. Here's Franklin at the line. And he gets the free throw to go. It's 95-71. Atlanta up by 24. Birmingham applying some pressure. As Hopkins has it, now he gets it to Parks. Parks gonna dribble and his layup no good. Vulcans with the rebound. And there's a basket by Franklin. 95-73, Atlanta show in control. Here's Stewart. And Stewart with a bounce pass to Parks. Parks posting up. And a three-pointer by Hopkins, no good. Outlet pass by the Vulcans. And there's a nice shot there. It was... Juan Franklin with a basket. And they're going to call another timeout. And it's 95-75 with 10.05 to go in the game. Want to remind you that the Atlanta Show are proud to compete in the 2017 season of the NABL. They are, in fact, the defending champions of the NABL. The North American Basketball League, you can follow all of the NABL action online at nablbasketball.com. You can watch games live every week. You can stay up to date on league news, see highlight videos, updates, updated stats, and more. All at the online home of the NABL, nablbasketball.com. And the Atlanta show coming into today's game, eight and one. And behind them, the Raleigh Capital Cardinals at five and five, followed by the Savannah Cavaliers, two and seven, the Panama City Piranhas, one and nine. And the show will take on the Savannah Cavaliers next Saturday in Savannah at four o'clock. The Saturday after that, they will head to Panama City, Florida to take on the Piranhas. That game, June 24th, is at four o'clock as well. 10.03 to go here in the game. Atlanta up 95-75 over Birmingham. You have to think that uh, delay with the flat tire that Birmingham had on the way over here really took the wind out of their sails. You wouldn't have thought that earlier in the game as Birmingham was actually came out on fire. Here's DeMarcus 3. He's going to get it to Neighbors for a three-pointer. No good. Willis with the rebound. Back to Neighbors, his shot up, no good. Tipped up by three, it's tipped in the air. Rebound taken away by Marcus Johnson. And we got a foul called. And Kenny Neighbors is gonna be at the line shooting two. Birmingham trying to get some respectability out of this game somehow. And Neighbors' first free throw is good. They will fall to seven and five as Atlanta will up its record to nine and one. 
So Neighbors makes both of them. It's 95-77 in favor of the Atlanta show. Paul Antoine Hall with it. Now over to Parks. Parks top of the key. Parks going to take it to the hole. And he won't score, but he was fouled. And Parks will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Paul Parks out of Point University, NAIA school down in West Point, Georgia. Leads this team in scoring with 31 points. Not quite a big output today as he makes one of two free throws. Here's Street with the ball now. And let's see, we've got a foul. As McCree has it here, and he knocks over. Looks like an offensive foul to me. And actually it was an offensive foul because Atlanta has the basketball. So good defense by the Atlanta show. Still playing hard despite the score. And the uh, folks out there cleaning up the uh, sweat off the, off the floor. And now the ball is stolen, and the layup is good by Ron, Juan Franklin. 96-79 is the score. Birmingham applying some pressure. And three-pointer no good. Taken away by the Vulcans. This is Juan Franklin. Franklin behind the back, his scoop shot is no good. And I believe it was tipped in by Willis. 96-81, so, so the lead cut down to 15 as Birmingham is starting to chip away a little bit. Here's Norm Stewart. Top of the key, Brandon Hopkins. Hopkins dribbles in, reverse layup, no good. If you're head coach David Kessler, you don't want any sloppiness here. You have, you've had a big lead the whole time. The Birmingham is starting to chip away. It was the lead, it was as high as 25. Actually even higher, 26, but now it's down to 15 as Threat picks up the basketball. 8.20 to go in the game. Here's DeMarcus Threat. His shot is up, no good. Rebound, outlet pass now to Parks, and Parks is going to lay it up, no good, but the finish, oh no. Maurice Strong had an easy layup there, but he couldn't get it to go. And we have a foul called. And the ball was out of bounds. It goes to Atlanta as Norm Stewart trying to inbound it. He gets it to Montgomery. Now here's Stewart again. Antoine Hall. And Antoine Hall with a three-pointer. So it should be 99-81. to Franklin with the basketball for Birmingham. 98-81, actually. And Franklin's shot is good. So it's still a 15-point lead for Atlanta. 98-83 with 7.27 to go in the game. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Out of bounds to Atlanta. And checking in for the Vulcans is number 10. That's Matrell Smith. 
Here's Parks, top of the key. Paul Parks with the basketball. He's guarded by Willis. Parks going to take it to the hole. His off-balance shot, no good. Rebound. And they throw it back out. And shot clock was, was running down. But Antoine Hall hits a three-pointer. So it's 101-83. 101-83 Atlanta. Franklin dribbles in and scores for Birmingham. 101-85. Birmingham not going away. And now we got the Hall on the floor with it. He gets it out to Montgomery. Oh, beautiful bounce, beautiful pass by Josh Montgomery to Paul Parks. Parks gets the layup. It's 103 to 85. Here's Threat with it. Demarcus Threat gets it to. Let's see, that's number 10, Jeremy Bogan. No, not uh, Matrell Smith, who scores. Norm Stewart. And Hopkins, or it should say Josh Montgomery, drove into the lane and was fouled hard. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. And this is a pretty play by Montgomery to Parks for the basket. One hundred three eighty-seven, Atlanta with the lead. I should say one hundred correction one hundred five eighty-seven. Shot is up, no good. And rebound was taken away by Smith of Birmingham, and we have a foul. Looks like the foul's going to be on Montgomery. And we have a timeout on the floor. NABL Insider, you can know the latest news and happenings in the NABL before anyone else. Become an NABL Insider. For the insider access, just log on and sign up on the on sign up online at home of the NABL, NABLBasketball.com. We mentioned this game was supposed to start at four o'clock, but due to a flat tire uh, on the uh, Birmingham's van on the way over here, uh, they were delayed by about two hours, and so the game did not tip off until about almost six o'clock. Um, Birmingham started out strong. They went up by about 5, 21 to 16 at one point. And then at one point it was 24-22 Birmingham. Uh, the Vulcans uh, playing well, but then a 9-0 run by the show changed everything. And ever since then, it has been all the Atlanta show. And a lot of that you can point to Brandon Hopkins, who scored 16 points in the first half. Also, the other cast of characters like Paul Parks, Josh Montgomery, Antoine Hall. A total team effort by the Atlanta show today. As they took control midway through the first quarter and have never looked back since. Now Birmingham with it. This is Bogus with a three-pointer off the backboard and in. So Jeremy Bogus... Gets it to go off the backboard. And Maurice Strong tried to score. He lost it. It looked like it was knocked away. Let's see. And there you see Jeremy Bogus. He didn't call the shot, but this isn't horse. 105-89 in favor of Atlanta. Norm Stewart with it. Here's Hall. Now back to Stewart. Stewart's three-pointer, good. Nails for Norm Stewart. 108-89, 5.30 to go in the game. Crowd still chanting defense. There's Willis. Willis got it into Matrell Smith, and we have a foul called. 
foul is on Maurice Strong. And Glenn Miles is going to go to the free throw line. 108-89 in favor of Atlanta. And Miles' first free throw is good. And second free throw up and in. So Miles makes both his free throws. It's 108-91 Atlanta. 17-point lead with 5-12 to go. And Maurice Strong with the rebound. Oh, nice three-pointer there. That was, that was Antoine Hall. Antoine Hall with a three-pointer. 111-91 in favor of Atlanta. Here's Steve Willis for Birmingham. Gets it to Matrell Smith, who drives in and scores. And Birmingham putting on some pressure, but Atlanta breaking it. Norm Stewart with it. Gets it to Parks. Top of the key. Paul Parks going to drive and miss the layup. Rebound taken away by the Vulcans. Here's Glenn Miles. He's going to take it all the way and not score. He missed it. Rebound taken away by the show. And the basket is good by Antoine Hall. So Atlanta back up by 20, 113 to 93. Franklin's long three-pointer, no good. We have a foul call, it looks like. And now checking in for the Vulcans is number 14. That's Kenny Neighbors. There you see Antoine Hall's three-pointer. Antoine Hall out of Detroit, Michigan, played his college ball at Union University. That's in Jackson, Tennessee. Parks with it. And he misses his short jumper. Here's DeMarcus Threat. Threat, his scoop shot is up and in. So DeMarcus Threat with another basket, 113-95 Atlanta. As Birmingham applies pressure. And we got a foul called. Not a shooting foul. It's going to go out of bounds. As Norm Stewart inbounds it. Here's Darius Scott. Looked like he traveled. Norm Stewart picked it up. Here's Parks with it. He's going to try a long three-pointer. No good. Rebound strong. Back out to Parks. Parks into Strong, who scores. So Maurice Strong, another basket. 115-95 Atlanta. 2.57 to go in the game. And there's a reverse layup by Steve Willis for Birmingham. One fifteen ninety seven Atlanta. And as we look at the replay, nice drive there by Willis. And a nice pass by Parks into Maurice Strong. We want to remind you about the championship series coming up July 29th and 30th right here at Life University. Teams from across two countries have to compete their way to get here, but all you need is a ticket. It's July 29th and 30th here in Atlanta right here at Life University. 
Also, you can get on get in the know the latest news and happenings in the NABL before anyone anyone else. The NABL Insider become an NABL Insider. For the insider access, just log on and sign up on the online home of the NABL, nablbasketball.com. And the next game for the Atlanta show, they will travel to Savannah next Saturday, June 17th, to take on the Savannah Cavaliers at 4 o'clock. A week from a week from next Saturday, they'll be in Panama City, Florida. Saturday, June 24th, as they take on the Panama City Piranhas. That game also at four o'clock. Also, the NABL loves the community. To the players, coaches, and teams of the NABL, the passion for excellence and pride goes beyond the court and across, goes across 19 cities and spanning two countries. The NABL is reaching out to the community, serving those in our inner cities, schools, and beyond to help make a difference in our communities. And you can find out more at NABLbasketball.com. Now back to action. And the rebound taken away by Glenn Miles of Birmingham, and he scores. So it's 116.99, 2.24 to go. This one winding down. Atlanta in total control. They will improve to 9 and 1 on the season, best record in the league. Birmingham will fall to 7 and 5. Here's Parks with it. Parks, a desperate shot. It was a shot clock violation. Ball did not hit the rim, and so ball goes over to the Vulcans. One fifty-six to go. Here's Street. Now Matrell Smith with it, and his pass, is, his shot is stolen. Stolen away, here's Paul Parks. Parks gonna try a three-pointer, no good. And Norm Stewart gets it for Atlanta. And he's double teamed. He gets a bounce pass to Darius Scott. Scott loses it. And here's Glenn Miles, and he's gonna score. So it's 116-101. As Birmingham goes over the century mark. And now all alone for a layup is Josh Montgomery. Nice pass there by Paul Parks. 118-101. And do we have another timeout? Looks like we have another timeout. I want to remind you about NABL social media. You can like us, follow us, gram us. The NABL is live on social media with the very latest scores, news, and highlights on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Pull out your phones and follow the NABL on social media now. Again, I want to remind you about the NABL Championship Series. To earn the spot in the NABL Championship Series, I should say, teams from across two countries have to fight to get their way to Atlanta. To earn your spot, all you need to do is have a ticket. Make your plans now to be at the 2017 NABL Championship Series July 29th and 30th right here at Life University here in Atlanta as the 2017 NABL champion will be crowned. You can find out more at nablbasketball.com. This one's winding down, 53 seconds to go. Atlanta in total control, up 118 to 103 as the ball goes out of bounds. And Birmingham will inbound it. Here's three with it, and he loses it, or he's fouled.
Here's Juan Franklin, three-pointer, no good. And Strong with the rebound, and he's fouled. And he is going to shoot two free throws. Birmingham not quitting, as you would expect. They're going to play this thing out to the end. Here's Strong's first free throw. It's good. 119-103 in favor of Atlanta. Murray Strong out of Swainsboro, Georgia, played his college, college ball at Alabama State. Here's his next free throw. It is no good. And we have a foul on the rebound. Want to remind you about NABL live stream, the NABLLive.com. You can catch this and every single game of the NABL 2017 season live. Whether your favorite team is on the road or at home, you can follow the team, your favorite team of the NABL, and see the game live with stats, updates, and live video streaming all at the online home of the NABL, NABLBasketball.com. Kenny Neighbors at the line shooting two. And he gets his second one to go. 119-104, 15-point lead for Atlanta. And another foul. Birmingham trying to keep this alive as much as possible. It is uh, unless there's a tr complete collapse by Atlanta. Atlanta's going to walk out of here with a victory. And Darius Scott is at the free throw line. Darius Scott out of Atlanta, played at Bluefield College in Bluefield, Virginia. And his free throw is good. Scott gets his second to go. 121-104, 35.7 seconds to go. And Kenny Neighbors hits the three-pointer. 121-107. So Birmingham making this much more respectable than it was. And another foul, this one on uh, Glenn Miles fouling Norm Stewart. Again, Birmingham hoping against hope, really, that they can get back in this game. And all Atlanta has to do is just make their free throws. And this is a moot, this is a, uh, moot point. And Norm Stewart knocks down his first. Stewart out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, played his college ball at Texas College. 18 seconds to go. And Glenn Miles layup doesn't go, but it's tipped up and in. I think actually he tipped it up and in himself. So it's 123-109, another foul. And uh, this is rather interesting what Birmingham is doing. They're down still by quite a lot. They're trying to extend the game. But 11.5 seconds, you're down by 14 points. As Paul Parks at the, at the free throw line will shoot two. If it were a little bit closer, I could understand it. And Parks gets the second of his two free throws. So Parks hits one of two, eight seconds, three with it. And there's the layup that's uh, 
I believe Glenn Miles with it. Now they inbound the ball. And Josh Montgomery's going to dribble it out. And that's the ball game. Final score. Atlanta 124. Birmingham 111. That will do it here from Life University, ladies and gentlemen. You've been watching the NABL-TV.